you got full gold seal look at this guy wow look at this we got all little jerry seinfelds over here holy cow look at these guys wow if they're bad they don't go in there do they wow I never saw anything like it. All these roosters on the street. Look at this guy. Wow. Look at this. Little Jerry Seinfeld. Look at these guys. All right, so we're here with Adrian and John. Adrian and John, do you know why we have all these roosters in the street? Yes, uh, Tampa's number one evil is known for the roosters and for, uh, they're, they're wild, they're wild animals. And they're not supposed to, you're not supposed to touch them. They're, I don't know what's the word for They're like protected or something? They're protected animals, correct. So you will see them in random places all over like evil or village. Wow, I never knew that. <laughs> you guys are great, thank you so much. Oh, Go Yankees. Hopefully it's a Mets Yankee World Series this year. All right. All right. All right. We'll see you guys soon. All right. All right. Bye. So you heard it right there. These roosters are actually protected. And chickens. Look at that. Everybody coming through. We got all these great food trucks here. I'm actually here with my family today. I'm always with my family, but family from Brooklyn and Tampa. And as you can see, um, it's great that this is outdoors because... Um, you have, uh, you know, if you have a problem with smoke or something like that, but you could also come in and see these great shops that are all around Ebor. So it's really, really nice. So we're here with the family. Carrie, say hi. Hi. Hello. Thomas and Charlie. Hello. Little Thomas, how are you? <laughs> Jennifer, looking forward to Dexter tonight? Yes, I am. Me too. We got a little trolley thing going over there. We got Momo over here reclining. And a little break in the action from the music, it seems like. But look at this. We got all these food trucks and roosters on the street. I mean, like I was telling you guys, every week there's a different festival here in Florida. You guys can have your pick. Pick of the litter. So if you come to Ybor City, you got this really neat, old-fashioned cable car. Kind of like you would in uh, San Francisco. And these things actually go. This is like the bus route. That's actually the last stop for it over here. You can see like the... Uh, little barrier as they say in taking a pelham one two three what they call that a stopper but it's got a more official name so you got the trolley car right here and uh it goes all along i don't know how this long this route is but this must be going dating back god it must be date back maybe a hundred years it must go on this main strip right here and uh incredible so i want to show you this i'm here on north 22nd street and i'll show you the plaque in a few seconds but this is the oldest Spanish restaurant in all of Florida. This is the Columbia Harbor House. And there's one of these in celebration, but this is the original one. And look at the murals on this here. And this is, like I said, I'll show you the, the plaque in a second. Shows you right there, established 1905. They've got a killer menu in here, amazing menu. We tried to get in here before to eat. And unfortunately, they're having an event today. And because of the cigar festival that's going on, there literally wasn't room at the end. So, but I wanted to take this and show this to you guys. And of course, I want to stand out in front of the sign, so it may be a little of the inside as well. I mean, you look at the intricate artwork. Look at this. This is something that you never really see ever done again. I mean, heaven knows how much that would cost. It's kind of like looking at the mural. This is like a mosaic. It's kind of like looking at the mural at the Magic Kingdom in the castle when they have um, the stories of all the, uh, of Cinderella. But look at this. this, and this goes all the way the length of the building. Look at that artwork. Look at that up here, like a Spanish conquistador or something, like a soldier or something up there. But look at this, this is incredible. So this is something you definitely have to come down and take a look at. So this is the plaque right here, and it tells you it's the oldest Spanish restaurant in the United States. It was opened by cigar makers in 1930. See, you can, it's all uh, Spanish and Colombian cuisine. Incredible. And also to show you how, you know, again, something similar to the Magic Kingdom, although we've taken a lot of our bricks up now, 
you can see, look at this. Some of these are so old. Commemorations from the old generation. Look at this, Teddy Roosevelt often rode by here as part of the Rough Riders. Of course, he went on to becoming uh, president and uh, he brought his little dog Cuba with him. Look at that. That's amazing stuff. And like I said, very busy out here. Even to come in here is amazing. It's like going down a tunnel. Look at this. What an amazing place to come into. Just to give you an idea of the amazing place that this is. Hey everyone, so we're here with Yelly and she's going to give us the history of the Columbia restaurant. Hi Yelly! Hello, so firstly we have three separate dining rooms on this first level. It will be our patio, our Don Quixote room that is in our next door, and then after that would be our cafe. We started with the first half of the bar area, which is our cafe in 1905. Later on we expanded the whole bar area cafe in 1915, and later on with the Don Quixote room will be the first air conditioned restaurant room in Tampa history. Wow. So around the Great Depression time is when we did that as well. It's very experimental. The Here we have a sunroof that used to recline in our dining room, but because of issues it came like I don't know why, but they just stopped doing that. Okay. So that's in a lot of sunlight, but we're not able to open it up as we used to. Wow. It's, and I, heard, I read the sign outside Teddy Roosevelt used to come by here with the Rough Riders and all that. It's been a while since they did that. They started Gasparilla in our King's Room all the way upstairs. You can see the newspaper clippings as well. Yeah, yeah. And then in our bedroom, our Don Quixote waiting room. Yeah. Apparently, Miss Marilyn Monroe helped pick out that wallpaper. Who did? Marilyn Monroe. Picked out the wallpaper in there? In our waiting room for that area. In this room over here? No, the next room over where we have our bed today. Oh, wow. Yes. That's incredible. Well, Yelly, thank you so much. You I really appreciate pleasure. you talking to us. I appreciate it. Have I'll a good one. Good All right. Too. Bye. So I'm just going to give you a little tour of the place. It is just amazing. Look at how amazing this is. Hi. I didn't get a chance to do a video before when I was here. Look at this. Wow. This is the place you want to have an event or a wedding, folks. Wow. It is incredible. I don't want to bother the people eating and stuff, but... Just to give you guys a little Christmas view here. It is incredible. And even got a waiting room. See this room in here? It's where people are waiting to come in. The roosters of Ibor City are actually protected by a city ordinance, which I'll put that ordinance up here. And it's just, they've been here for over 100 years. And it just seems that when the tobacco industry had a fire, back way back in the day, a lot of Cubans and Spanish people came over and uh, they settled in Ybor City. And with them, they brought the chickens and, you know, cause they had them for um, eggs and, and they were raising them. And the population just grew. So basically all of Tampa is a wildlife preserve for birds. So they can't be touched. So it's, it's amazing. You have to come and see this place. You know, seeing the place, I just can't help but thinking of Hey Hey of Disney and even more so, little Jerry Seinfeld from Seinfeld. And uh, you just can't help but looking at it. And uh, like I said, Ybor City is, it's very interesting. It's definitely worth going to. And what I would do, it's only 45 minutes from Disney and SeaWorld and all that great stuff. So what I often tell people to do coming down to Central Florida, fly into Tampa. It's a much less busy airport. It is a little farther away from Disney, but when you factor in the time you save on getting your rental car, it's always a lot more busy through TSA over at Orlando. You're gonna, the time it takes you to drive to Disney, the 45, 50 minutes or hour, it's, it's no time at all. So if you do that, you could certainly stop by Ybor City and check out these wild roosters and chickens that walk all around the city, doing whatever they wanna do, eating grass, going all around. It's the craziest thing I've ever seen, but it's also amazing. And it's like, you know, what I, what I find cool is that more and more across America, every city looks pretty much the same. You got your strip of Burger King and McDonald's and Chick-fil-A. Here's something that's really, really different. In fact, Teddy Roosevelt even went through Ybor City. So there's a lot of history there and a lot of fun. So I would definitely include it on your next trip down to Central Florida, to Disney, to whatever. And you won't be, uh, you won't be sad you did it. You'll enjoy it. All right, everyone, I want to thank everybody for watching. I really appreciate it. Hope everyone's having a wonderful holiday season, whatever it is you celebrate this time of year. 
And uh, thank you for watching the video. If you liked it, please give me a like. Please subscribe. That'd be awesome. Drop me a comment. I'd love to answer comments. Love to see them. So this is Al signing off from Kindred Souls of Brooklyn in Florida. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care of yourselves. Love you guys. Mission, my son. And I'll see you guys real soon on the next video. Take care now. Bye-bye.